Hello everybody. I just woke up here at this most amazing yoga retreat here in Punta Gorda, Florida, and I had the best night's sleep that I've had in a really long time. And I wanna give you a tour of it. So come on inside with me. because it's the avocado room. They have this really cool neon avocado light. A little kitchenette area here with a small little four burner stove and an oven. You have your essential oil burner, a little dish rag, some soap, some Myers hand soap, and that's my cup, so don't mind that. And down here you have everything you need from your utensils to cups and plates and uh, paper towels and a dish rack. Now, if we go to the other door on the other side of this room, this leads us out into another common area, patio outside. Out here is just another great common area where people can come and relax outside. We have another big screen TV here with lots of ceiling fans to keep you cool. 
Back over here, we have another couch. And over here, we have a nice bar that they are going to eventually be doing some really fun things at coming up in the near future. But back over this way is two more bungalows. This one, this one is the orange bungalow. And this one is decorated with all kinds of fun citrus orange and lemons and beautiful, beautiful, bright Florida colors. Back here, you have this really big kitchenette area that comes with a full-size four burner stove and oven. You have a microwave, um, your AC unit, and you have a full-size fridge in this one with lots of cabinet areas um, that have your cups in here. Here you have your utensils and pots and pans, another essential oil burner with a coffee maker, coffee, this one has a dehumidifier in it. Over here you have your plates and bowls, and over through this way you have your bathroom, your full-size bathroom. This door leads back out the way we came in, or you have your own personal door that goes out into the back area. So over here is another bungalow that you can rent. I'm just going to show you the outside of it because this is where the owner is currently staying right now. little private front porch here and this one is called the coconut bungalow so I'll put the links down below for you to check out the inside pictures of this one so we're gonna go back out this way and head to the next bungalow over here they have this really pretty nice um, fish in there I think oh tilapia that's what's in there and they have a ton of tilapia too many of them so bring your fishing pole and get a, a an easy an easy dinner for the night i don't know if you guys can see them or not it's kind of dark but it's filled with tilapia right here we have another nice outdoor seating area with picnic tables and umbrellas and here is another common area they have uh, quite a few common areas here for everybody this one is mainly for the two bungalows that are in here, but you have a nice little seating area out here to relax in that is screened in. So in case there's a buggy night, you will be protected. As we come in here, this is another one of the common areas that they have hot tea and coffee here that you can use. And back there, this is the papaya bungalow. And those gentlemen are staying in there, so I can't show you that, but you can look online for those. And on this side, we have the guava bungalow. Now this bungalow is a two bedroom, one bath bungalow. And in this particular room, you have two twin beds, one on this side and one on this side. And it has some really fun pink and flamingo decor in here, very tropical theme. You also have your ceiling fan and a flat screen TV. You walk through here, you have your shared bathroom. Let me turn some lights on. This one you have your shower and your toilet and sink. And coming back out of the bathroom. And here you have, I'm assuming is a closet. And you walk into the little kitchen and dining area. You have a front door right here that goes out into, where does that go? Oh, that's the laundry area. And then right out there is the, the outdoor patio that we were at in the beginning. You have your little wet bar here with a sink. Turn some lights on. And a little dining table and another little kitchenette with a stove that has an oven, it's a full-size stove. 
and your coffee maker, your essential oils, microwave, lots of cabinet space, and a full-size fridge. Heading on into the second bedroom, this one also is decorated nicely with the pink and yellow colors with some flamingos and I think those are called spoon build something. Let me see what it says. Spoon bill, that's all it says. So twin beds, another TV, and a, another closet to hang your clothes in. So now we're gonna head out of this bungalow and we're gonna head over to another one that is kind of like a cabin style feel. It's its own little um, separate entity of a building, if you will. And forget what that one's called, but we'll find out here shortly. So here we are heading back out that same screen door. And over there is the cave pool. We have another really nice seating area here with some chairs and some hammocks. And then back here, more seating area with picnic benches, an umbrella, and some grills that you can use. Three, one, two, three grills. And then back here is the other little cabin that is called the Mango Bungalow. That's what it's called. Okay, so I lied when I told you the one that I stayed in was my favorite. This one is actually one of my other top favorites too, as far as the colors and the decor goes. I really, 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 really love this rug here and all the colors in it. They have this nice mid-century little, uh, I think it would probably be a futon it looks like, so if you had an extra kid or something that wanted to sleep there, um, they could fit there nice and comfortably. Over here you have a little coffee bar with your coffee maker and some coffee and again another essential oil burner. You have a dehumidifier in here as well. Some really pretty bohemian decor on the walls. That is absolutely beautiful. Over here you have your little mid-century tables and a beautiful plant and a really awesome or sheer lamp there. Another big screen flat TV. And if we circle around, you have your little kitchenette area on this side. Again, you have another um, full-size fridge and freezer with a sink full-size stove and oven. So if we head this way, you go into another full-size bathroom. You have your sink here with your nice freshly clean towels ready to go for you to take a shower. This side you have your toilet and this side you have another shower. Now coming back out of the bathroom into the living and kitchen area, we head on over to the bedroom. This is a king size bed. And this one is beautiful. I love this one. You have your two twin beds stuck together to create a king size bed. Beautiful rug, of course. I'm gonna have to find out where she got these. You have this really nice end table over here with a really cool bohemian styled lamp and nightstand beautiful colored pillows and also underneath all the beds they have these uh, little plastic bins here that you can store clothes or whatever you want in as well back here on this side you have your own personal mini split so this room is going to stay really nice and cold and it also has a ceiling fan as well and this really pretty wind chime now heading back out the opposite door that we came in and this leads out straight towards the grotto where we are headed now. Over this way, you have this really cool, just kind of like tranquil uh, meditation spot that you can just sit and hang out or you can sit down and you can do yoga or you can meditate. Again, we have another hot tub here on the outside and another little place that you can hang out and relax in these two different hammocks they have here in this tranquil little area covered by bamboo and palm trees. I spent a lot of my time here on these hammocks. So 
now it's time to head into the cave pool. So that concludes the tour here at this amazing Airbnb right here in Punta Gorda, Florida. If you guys are interested in staying here at this awesome yoga retreat, I will link all the information down in my bio as well as pin it in the comments. And yeah, I hope you guys come here and enjoy it just as much as I did. So until next time guys, I hope you all have an amazing day and peace.